Let's, let's now quickly take a look at the Maharashtra math. You see, it all boils down to the numbers. So first, let's take a look at how the numbers were up until this morning. So before the crisis, the Shiv Sena had 56, the NCP had 53, the Congress has for, had 44, and this was a happy coalition called the Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi at around 150 plus. The BJP had 106, Samajwadi Party 2, and there were others at 27, some supporting uh, the Aghadi, and there were others who were opposing the Aghadi, they were with the BJP. But after the crisis, what has happened? Let's quickly take a look at that. So, the Shiv Sena has 56, but if you minus or subtract the 21 rebels, if you subtract the 21 rebels, that is, uh, it leaves Shiv Sena with 35. 35. The NCP has 53. Congress 44. The BJP at 106. And the Sena MLAs who are with Shinde are 21. Because the rebels have come down. Samajwadi party has 2. Others are at 26 because one independent has gone to Shinde. So the Eknath Shinde camp has taken away about 22 MLAs. Not resigned officially, but Purely in terms of tally and number, you can see that the strength has come down. If they choose to resign, that strength will come down of the Shiv Sena by about 21. And if you add the others, uh, by 22. Now let's quickly take a look at the various possibilities and this is going to be extremely important. The possibilities are also very, very important to discuss. Possibility number one. Eknath Shinde engineers a split in the Sena and forms a splinter group and allies with the Bharatiya Janata Party. What is the possibility of this? Very difficult, but it's not entirely impossible. This is possible also, it can be done. But then for that he will have to uh, cross the 37 MLA mark to be able to escape the provisions of the anti-defection law. He right now only has 21. Let's take a look at the next possibility. Uddhav reaches out to rebel MLAs, convinces them to return. The possibility of that is likely. Uddhav has already reached out to Eknath Khatse. He has sent emissaries. They are likely to have spoken also. Now, will many of these MLAs return upon being cajoled and coaxed by Uddhav Thakre? The possibility of that is likely. Third possibility, the BJP welcomes rebels from all parties following the Madhya Pradesh and the Karnataka model. Whereas in the case of Madhya Pradesh, you saw that MLAs who accompanied Jyoti Raditya Sindhya resigned from the Congress. They uh, quit their MLA ship. They were suspended from their party. And then after that, fresh elections were held and they were elected as BJP MLAs. Can the same happen? It appears as of this moment that this is a difficult possibility, but it is not impossible. It can happen. So many such scenarios, including a possible scenario of a President Trur, which is being spoken about in the political circles, again difficult, but not completely outside the realm of possibility.